The first thing you want to do is gather your supplies. What I'm using today to make the um, olive branch topiary is I've got some sheet moss and I'm using uh, obviously some of these um, olive leaves branches which I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm also trying this uh, new wire it's a faux moss wire I'm going to give that a try I have my container and I also am using some uh, styrofoam floral styrofoam to keep the um, stem and the topiary in place and along with some branches I got from the yard the first thing I did was cut the floral styrofoam to fit my vase. You want it just to fit as snugly as you can get it. Next, I'm taking my stems, make them even, even at one end, and I'm going to secure it with a piece of the uh, floral wire. which doesn't really hold very well. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and tie it. I guess it's more like a string type thing, okay. And now what I'd like to try and do is braid it as best I can. I know it's uh, not very pliable, so I'm gonna just do the best I can I can to make it look a little bit braided, which if you can, or do the best you can with that. Okay. And I'm gonna take another, take my container and stick it in there to secure it. Okay, next I secured my stems into the uh, floral styrofoam. And I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, hot glue in there just to kind of keep it so it doesn't move around. Not a lot. Okay. And you just wanna make sure it looks straight. And the other thing is you want to just kind of keep an eye on the height. It want, you need to be at least um, double the size of your vase. So just kind of eyeball it. Okay, and once you get it where you like it, then you can just uh, let it sit for a minute. The next thing you want to do is take your olive branches. I have three. I'm using um, how they, I bought, they came three in a little um, pack, so I'm using all three. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut the uh, stem, so they're about an inch from the last uh, little leaf part here. So I'm gonna take my wire cutters and, and cut that. You wanna cut as much as you can um, because you don't want that much showing. You know, the more you have, the more will show. And I'm going to secure them in place with our floral wire, or our floral tape. And this just kind of helps it, so I can, when we put them all together, it will um, just go a little easier. Keep it all together, okay? And what I found that is gonna work the best is I'm using three bunches. Okay, and it'll be nice and full. Next, have your floral tape ready. And I'm going to take the three little bunches here and put them up to our little branches. So I'm gonna put one on, th on this side, on, on one of the sides, and I'm gonna secure it with the floral tape. Just to get it tacked enough so it's in place. And you can go back later and make it look a little neater. Okay. 
Okay, so there's one. The next one I'm gonna put on the other side. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try and use is this little raffia, and I'm going to use it to cover the uh, floral tape, and then it'll help secure it also. I'm going to do it piece by piece because you don't really want it to be uh, bulky. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it around, pull it a little taut, covering as I go. And what I don't cover, I'll probably need to use a couple of different pieces, um, but I think going one by one will help so we don't get it bulky. And then you can go back up and see how it looks when you're done. And then just tie it in a knot when you're at the end. just kind of take a look at it all the way around okay there's still a little green uh, showing um, but it's not too bad now what I'm going to do to cover the remaining little bits and pieces is use this uh, moss I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and just be careful because this is very hot and I'm just going to tack it up top to cover a little of the spots. This actually makes it, gives it a little natural element too. Kind of go around where you need it. Because sometimes on the faux leaves where uh, stems, it's um, kind of plasticky looking. So this helps uh, cover that and gives it more. I think it just makes it look more natural. And just get it up there the best you can. You can go back and trim it. Okay, once you've got that on, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little trim, kind of get some of the, uh, yeah, this that we don't need. Give it a haircut. Okay, now we can, from here, we can go a couple of different ways. This, this can be a little, you know, creativity if you prefer uh, one thing over the other, we can go ahead and use this um, moss right on the bottom. And um, that's very beautiful. It ties in with the top. Or I, ha I always use this, I had this orchid mix and it's, I like the wood chip look and you can, if you want something different, you can just sort of lay that on there. Um, either way, I think looks nice. Um, I think actually I'm going to Actually, I might just do both. Let's do a little of both. Let's go ahead and get our glue gun and add some of the sheet moss to it, to the bottom. I just put a little glue here to hold it in place. Just tack it on there. This is the messiest stuff. There's no way around not doing this messy, I don't think. There you go. Now 
looks nice. And if you want, you can just throw a couple of these on, you know, here and there. Just as something different. Just put a little glue. Sort of scattered there. There. Or you don't have to put any if you don't like it. Well, just put a couple there. And then just sort of give it a little trim. Nice. Looks nice. And then you can kind of give it a little fluff, however you like it. This really just sort of stands up, but kind of give it a little natural and this fell one of the olives fell off so I think I'll just leave it there leave it on the right down on the bottom and there you have it I think it looks cute you kind of look all the way around if you wanted to you could even if you want to douse it up a little bit more you could put make a bow Here. And you could add a, a like a little a little bow here. Which is which is really nice too. Whichever, you know, however you like it. I think for now we're just gonna leave it plain.